Alrighty, video. The reason why black athletes only date white women. Let's see if we come across some interesting subject matter. It's by a guy named OneCloud9. As always, video will be in the description. Let's go right for it. All right, so Pete, recently the NFL draft happened. And as black Twitter does every single year, there was a lot of people complaining about the black athletes having white girlfriends. Sorry, immediately. Black Twitter? There's a certain area of Twitter that's designated towards being black? What does that mean? What does it mean to be black other than just having more melanin in your skin? Oh God, it's gonna be a bunch of tribalism in this shit, isn't it? Jesus. Here's the right answer. None of that shit matters. You're an individual. Don't let these, these external factors and the way that people treat those external factors or features, not factors, of you, who you, of what you are, to determine who you are. Everyone's an individual. Everyone has their own uh, ability to think about stuff. Quit fucking grouping people into, into these groups and then judging them based on the label that you apply to the group. That shit doesn't mean anything. Sorry, it's just black Twitter? What? Well, is there a white Twitter? What would that mean? Oh, let's talk about taxes. Oh, what's your favorite type of cheese? Oh, I just slept with my, 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 my stepdaughter. <laughs> Sorry, that wasn't, that was a borderline incest joke. I should have done something like, oh, my, my, my niece or something. There we go. Is that white? Is that what it means to be white? To like unseasoned food? It's like, what does, this is just stupid shit. It doesn't mean anything. Now, in my personal opinion, I find nothing wrong with this. But in all honesty, it is kind of funny to see how many black athletes do have white girls or white husbands. Pause. Like, it seemed like every single athlete who was getting selected had a white girl from the number one pick to even the fucking number 365th pick. Like, so I was wondering why that was until I ran across this video on TikTok. I'm gonna play it for y'all. Why are all these black college athletes that are getting drafted having white women what's going on i am going to tell you as someone that is friends with a lot of d1 football players and d1 basketball players i'm going to tell you because they have told me whoa whoa, whoa, whoa. before i get into this i want to make it clear i'm only into black women i'm just telling you what they have told me my man said bro how many why'd you say it like that whoa, whoa, whoa i'm only into black women who gives a shit who you're into none of that shit matters it doesn't mean anything what Why'd you have to set that up as the as the the disclaimer before jumping into your argument? Guys, none of this shit matters. These are all just features of, of what you are so people can judge you based on what's uh, what they see on the outside. So they think that that's somehow a reflection of what's going on on the inside. What matters is this and this. Your ability to think and your reasoning and your ethics. That's why I point at the heart because it's like caring. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Hopefully we don't come across anything too stupid here. Bro, how many white women have you seen do the Meg The Stallion Challenge? And he said, excluding the ones that think they're two shades away from being Lotto. I said, probably only one. He said, okay. Y'all, five of my guys that play on Division One Power 5 football teams, and they start, they were like, Goody, you know the type of NIL deals we got. One of my men said, bro, I was messing with this black girl. She heard about the deal I got and started to request money, Apple Pays and Cash Apps, for her hair and nails. I said, oh shit. My other friends were saying, bro, I would try to take her out to Chipotle, Cava, this and this and that. She would get mad talking about why are we going to steakhouses? You're good for it. I said, oh shit. They were like, bro, the white women? They're down to go and get a cup of coffee, go, go and get some fucking ice cream. My friends were like, bro, the white women we're dating, they pay for a lot of our stuff. I said, what do you mean? They said, bro, they know that we're making some money, but while we're at practice or we're at camp, they got us our favorite Cava bowl, double chicken, right? Waiting for them to come out of practice. My All right, I'm going to stop you right there. You need to stop that. You really think that's reduced to your skin color? That's just the people that you're running into. You, like, this is why you shouldn't just use your experiences as an individual to determine your opinion on everything. Experience is one part, one facet. Your research, the experiences of other people. Yeah, yeah, like research, that's the number one. <laughs> Trying to understand these things, going out of your way, looking things up. Like, I've been on a date, I've been on a date with a black woman. She, she wanted to split everything. We went to the arcade, she split it. Went to, went to the dinner, she, we split it. What is, does that mean you're wrong because this is what I've been through? This shit doesn't mean anything. This is just the shit that these people ran into. Of course this guy's American. <laughs> and there goes me trying to put people into their own demographics, but like, 
culture is going to have, I guess, yeah, because that's ironic for me to say that if this guy's American, they're going to view things a certain way, then that would technically, by proxy, reinforce these preconceived notions he's making about, uh, in regards to people about their skin color. But it's like, dude, that's just the girls that these guys have been on dates with. Just them being, acting like parasites. Should you, should, what if I were to point out in, in, by, by part, you know, in part of what you're saying in your logic, what if you just point out that they're women? Does that mean that they're just in general, they're going to try to be more parasitic? It's like, no, man, there's a little bit more to it. <laughs> there's more to it than this. You're trying to find a trend so that you can understand things more. And I can understand that. But like, dude, doubt the shit that you experience. Doubt the shit that you see. Research and even doubt, compare and contrast. It's not that easy. You can't just break it down into something like that. My friends are telling me these girls are getting their group projects done, getting their essays done, online tests done, on time. I said, wait, what? I said, bro, what about maintenance? There's no way y'all are not paying for her hair, nails, bags, her lifestyle. He said, bro, first of all, my girl will get her own Starbucks and even get me one. But if I want to be nice, I'll get her something, you know, from Starbucks. And they were like, hair and nails? They don't even care about the nails, really, you know? And if they do it, they do it themselves. Sometimes, I, you know, I pitch in. And I was like, all right, what about hair? They were like, bro, she's white. She just brushes it. We're flat irons. She wants to be special. So, Jesus Christ, you guys are saving a lot of money. <laughs> one of my men said... <sighs> just stereotypes and shit. So, because they're white, they brush their hair they're black they go to a hair salon because no white women go to hair salons no black women just brush their hair there's no nuance there's no specific stuff you're just judging based on the stuff that you've witnessed and you've heard from this small controlled group of people yeah all right dude just get to the get to the end my man said this he just got drafted he said bro i was dating a black girl now i'm dating a white girl i'm about to marry her he said the difference between the black girl and the white girl the biggest difference is the white girl knows when to shut the fuck up I said, God damn. Listen, this is what they told me. Do with the information as you please. If it takes me 10 to 15 years to find a black woman that's compatible with me, that's what I'm going to do. But this is what they told me. So stop being surprised. All right, peep. If I'm being real with y'all, I'm not going to lie. Hey, them athletes kind of had a point. I ain't going to hold you, bro. Because peep, stay with me. I feel like... No, they don't. <laughs> like, I could, I could uh, outweigh your point by just saying don't date American women. How about... Because it's a culture of vanity. It's cultural superficiality. Go somewhere else. Go abroad. And you'll find women that are, if you're looking through a traditional lens, they're more traditional. Well, we'll fulfill that role and more pridefully so, if that's the way that you define it, which I'm, I don't define it that way. That's not the way I see it. I just don't want to be treated like garbage. How's that? I want to be able to interact with somebody and have the substance of the interaction mean the most at everything instead of these, these mindless things that people point to and prioritize in life to just siphon value from each other. Fuck that. But no, you don't have a point, nor does the other guy. Like a big problem with some black women. Again, some black women. Don't come for me in the comments talking about, oh, why are you associating all of us with one type of people? I'm not doing that. I said some, cause I'm- Cause say the same thing, some white women, some Latino women. I could say, but I feel like me saying something like a lot of American women just in general because of the cultural values like that applies there but again ironic it's kind of ironic for me to say that right kind of gives some legitimacy to what this guy's saying which I think no I think what I'm saying is a little bit more accurate all right let's keep going because I'm not I'm, I'm not dealing with that bullshit but some black women tend to only care about themselves in a relationship because I'm gonna just keep it real bro I've been with black girls and I've been with white girls I tend to like black girls more because I am black and it, it, black girls just seem like home but I do also like white girls and I will say every single point that athlete made is kind of true I'm, I'm a so humans are just things we're just products I always say that in a lot of my videos, humans tend to be products that they tend to for the most part. But it's like, why are you giving into that? If that is the case, given that like humans are individual are also individuals. They can be if they prioritize the right stuff, stuff to be able to manifest that in their life. But like, why are you playing into that? Like given all the crap that you're going to have to deal with by essentially reinforcing that by saying shit like, oh, dating other black women because I'm black is home. That's reinforcing the status quo of, of just tribalism of just you can put people into these demographics and judge them based on the demographic that you put them into. It's like there's considerably more nuance to everything in life, everything. I've had problems with all sorts of women, white, black, Latina, Asian, makes no difference, dude. It depends on the people that you run into and the experiences you have and the way that you react to it. There's so much nuance to everything in life. Yeah, 
It just, it sucks, man. Well, I'm, I'm gonna just keep it real. Cause I've been with some black girls who never want to pay for anything. It doesn't matter if this food, drinks, hell, even parking to a place that they ask you to take them to. They don't want to pay for shit. And again, that might just be the black girls I'm dealing with. But like, as I- Yes, it is the black women that you're dealing with. And you're quantifying it based on their skin color. How, like there's other factors to that stuff. I mean, I just pull some out of my ass, right? Where were they born? When were they born? Who were they surrounded by? Who were the types of influence they were surrounded by? The cultural standards that they, they lived up to, whether or not they agreed with those, how they react to that stuff, their height, the way that they look, the, 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 like, you can even break these types of stereotypes and demographics down to fucking like hair color. You ever hear the stereotype that, oh, dumb blonde? It's the same shit. It's just another thing that people can judge. That's it. None of this stuff means anything. Don't, ah, <laughs> fuck, damn it. <laughs> Whatever, just keep going. As I've been seeing on the internet, this is becoming more and more of a trend. Some black women want to be treated like princesses without treating their mans like kings. They be expecting to get everything paid for, for you to spend all your time with them, for you to give them attention at any point in the day or else another man will, which we're gonna get to that later too. And also, the one that pisses me off the most, they expect you to agree with everything that they're saying and if you don't they're just gonna yell scream at you or just completely emotionally cut you off which is dude if you talk to any other random person you're gonna get other random shit some other people may just may say that's oh that's been my experience with white women or just women in general or these people or that people doing this particular thing because of the things that i've experienced it's like dude i will say this a million times don't just use your experience and the experience of others as, as a single-handedly the reflection of what is. There is way more to it than that. You have to be, like, educate yourself on all of these things, not just the experiences. Oh, man. And not even just, like, statistics or the research, because a lot of people, they just look at a number on a paper and just like, oh, this means that. I guess we're good now. To figure out why that thing is the way that it is, or whether or not that thing is accurate, the numbers that you come across, everything, dude. There's, there's unlimited amount of nuance and complexity to life. Now, I always say stuff, you know, again, some of the stuff may, I, I say may come off as ironic. I say stuff that seems antithetical to, to what I'm saying right now, right? Like my decree on American women. I don't think that the things that I say apply to all American women, but like there's enough of trends. There's enough of a, uh, based on research experiences, my own, other people's experiences, whatever other metric that you can use to determine these types of things. Yeah, time and place, all these things. It may come off as ironic, but, and I use that at, to, to determine my own opinion of these types of things, which caused me to make moves on that behalf. So I am in a, in a sense culpable in that way. But I also can acknowledge that what I'm saying is coming from just what I think is real. And that's exactly what this guy's doing. So I can't really, you know, dissociate myself from that. But it's like, I would like to think mine's a little bit more educated, more informed. They're just saying, oh, I dated black women. And my experience with black women is they they just don't like it doing much. They're just parasites. It's like not with my experience with black women, no. It's the opposite of what you're saying. So, does, so, who's, so who's right? We're both right and wrong at the same time. That's how that is. Which is literally the worst possible scenario for anything to happen. Like that, that's, that's fucking kid ass tendencies. Like why the fuck do they do that? And the black women that actually does that bullshit tend to fuck it up for the good black women. And that's where the stereotype and the problem lies. But most white girls don't be doing that shit. Actually, most other races don't be doing that shit unless they're from primarily black areas. And yes, I'm saying that. No. You get this shit everywhere. You get parasites everywhere. It's not specific to a, a skin color. And can I even sit here and say that culture has the biggest effect on it, right? These are all American women you've probably been dating. You could just, I could point to that and say that that's, that's why you've been dealing with what you've been dealing with. It's just another flavor of what you're saying. Just doubt, man. Doubt's a very important thing. Saying that side of black culture rubs off on the other black people who just live in that area. That's just how economics work. Why do you think people call suburban black people whitewashed? Because they're around a lot of white people. That's just what happens. We're all human. That's not racist. It's just true. See, the majority of white women... Will... It is kind of racist. Because you're, you're trying to quantify who someone is solely based on their skin color. And the, and the, and the, the preconceived notions that are applied based on that skin color. It's like you, you aren't going to conduct yourself in a certain way just because of how much melanin you have in your skin. That shit is conditioned. Where's the individual part of that? Where's, where's the, 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 the personal accountability aspect of that? Just don't see life through this lens, dude. There's way more to it than these types of things. And if you break it down to this type of stuff, you're always going to be running into that type of thing.
yes, that is kind of racist. To say that white people act a certain way, saying that black people act a certain way, say that Asians. It's, it's, there's cultural uh, factors, but there's also the individual factors. There's the, the personal experience factors. There's how the, those people have reacted to those personal experience factors. There's a billion things. It's an, a, a, an endless amalgam of what determines the outcome of an individual. I said this in the, uh, another video. I don't think it was this video. You look at a serial killer, you see their history, trauma, abuse, yada, yada. Okay, it makes sense how they turned out that way. You look at somebody else who went through stuff that was simical, si similar or identical and they didn't turn out that way. What's the explanation to that? A bunch of shit. A bunch of things that you can't just pin down to a very specific few things and slap a label on it. All right, that's that. It's endlessly complex. Everything is. We'll expect you to treat them good, but they're also going to treat you good at the same time, so it's going to be balanced. And from that video we just watched, it proves to be true. Now, you can make the argument that these people are athletes, and that does have a bias to it. But at the same time, from the experiences I've been through too, I can confidently say I have been treated better by the white girls I've been with than the black girls, and that's just the truth. You're done. You're done. And I've asked them. So that's your experience then. It's not, not a reflection of how everything works. My experience with just American women in general has been nothing but garbage. So I could just point out, again, I made this argument already in this video. I could just point at, you know, you're dating American women. That's your problem. <laughs> that's the problem that you have. How about that? Is that valid? Because that's what I've gone through, and that's what I've seen. And that's what I've researched. I don't know, man. This is the way that you view it, and that's, that's fine. But... And I guess a lot of people agree with you if they're watching your video and all those things. No, that's not even true. Not all these people, just because they watch your video means they agree with you. It doesn't mean that there's validity to what you're saying just because you have viewers. That doesn't mean anything. But whatever. All right, let's just keep going. I don't think we're going to come across any new ground. I'm probably just going to repeat the same things, but let's get through it. I asked all my homies this. They say the same thing. And I'm not saying white girls are better than black girls by saying that. That's just a personal experience. And I don't know if that's true for any other man who's dated black women and white women, but I could probably guess for majority of athletes or just regular black men that date white women, this is probably why they started dating and primarily going for white women. They treat them better. And this is where I know... Nope. Everyone has their own particular reasons for as to why they do all sorts of various things. Uh, not every man chooses a woman just because he, she treats him well. It's just dumb fuck emotion that usually tends to determine people's moves in life. That should be what, what you determine, right? The qualities of the other person, how they treat you, the quality of the relationship, all those things. But again, at the end of the day, it usually boils down to emotion. And that's usually what determines virtually everything. Well, it determines what I say, it determines what this guy's saying. It's emotion. Logic can only reach so far. We're intrinsically emotional beings. So I know a good amount of black women, who's probably the type I was describing earlier in the video, will get mad. Because I've seen this argument made on the internet multiple times, and every single time I go under that post, I always just see hate. Black women don't like hearing that. Black women don't like hearing that white women treat their men better than they do. They say it's false, Damn. they'll say you're racist, Damn. they'll say you're colorist, Damn. they'll say you're betraying your own race by making that point. Damn. But bro, if it's true, it's true. I see a lot of people on the internet calling these white girls gold diggers, saying they're only there for the money, saying they want to use those black men. Well, let me just ask you a question. Are black women not gold diggers too? Like, let's just be very, very real here. And they Anyone can be a gold digger. It's usually a, a stereotype applied to women, but not a specific demographic of women. I always say stuff like it's usually women who in America, American women, or just a lot of Western women, who prioritize shit like this because it's usually part of the culture She's usually part of the values that are most pervasive in a time and place in America really only gives a fuck about money. So you're going to tend to find people who reinforce that, who manifest that as part of their identity. That's my argument for that. It's like black, white, Asian, S Spanish, Indian, everything. It's all specific. Those are all just one, one factor out of a, a, an amalgamation pie. So to your question, are black, yeah, because anyone can be. And it's not because they're black. And that equation that you're putting down, wouldn't black women fit the same criteria? Because can she be a gold digger? Yes. But that black girl with that black man could be a gold digger too. Because I'm telling you, gold digging is universal. White women aren't the only people who dig, bro. Black women be digging too. Now for my last point. I have said this all across the video, yet I already know I'm still going to get hate for this video. When I'm talking about these black women, I don't mean all, I mean some. And I'm pretty sure all the good black women know that and recognize that. 
But again, for y'all, some that are doing that, y'all are fucking it up for the rest of the black community. Because there is no reason why black women should have this stereotype. And yes, like, especially if these cultural influences are so pervasive and they tend to affect a lot of people who end up in turn manifesting those things, it requires the individual to point that out so that they don't succumb to that. I, 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 I agree with that, that part of what you're saying. That applies to virtually everything, right? Kind of like a, a dude, if they may turn violent, because violence is just a part of human nature, yet they don't really have an excuse when they turn violent. It's mainly just like, oh, you have to just react to this stuff properly. They don't succumb to your, your primitive biology. You have to learn. You have to know. You have to quantify. We have a further degree of sentience, and that, that removes our excuse to act like animals, essentially. It's the same thing. It virtually applies to everything in life. Everything. So... It's my dog. Rawr, 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 rawr. Because there is no reason why black women should have this stereotype with them. It's just unfair to us as a community, and it's unfair to black women especially. So I feel like everybody should just do their part, and maybe we'll see more athletes with black women. That being said, though, I'm going to try to find a white girl. Alrighty. Um, so, yeah, that's the end of that video, I guess, but there's more at the end. I don't know if I really want to get through that. Um, I guess what he said at the very end, the community stuff, I don't... I don't agree with any of that stuff. Don't be part of a community just because you you possess a certain feature that allows you into that community. Why not just find individuals who you vibe with, who are like who you actually enjoy the presence of based on this, their substance of character, not the superficial surface level features that we possess as as people. Disregard tribalism. Be an individual. Be smart. Know what you're doing. And try not to prejudice, although there is there is some service to being prejudiced, but you have to know that you're being prejudiced in order for you to get some benefit from it so that you can control it. Because, <laughs> you know, there is some validity to some stereotypes here and there, but know that that stereotype is just a stereotype and there's only so much validity that those things can have. Individualism should outweigh everything else, always. Cool!